Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video in my wedding planning series. Today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite DIY projects that I included in my wedding and that is making flower petal confetti. It's super easy to do and it's also an eco-friendly alternative to some other confetti options. So let's get started. If you've just recently gotten engaged, congratulations and chances are you either have or are about to start receiving quite a few bouquets of flowers and this is a really great place to start in collecting petals for your petal confetti. I started my petal collection from the flowers that my boyfriend at the time, now husband, gave to me on the morning that he proposed. I also saved the petals from the flowers that my friends and family sent us during our engagement time, so it was really special to have all of those petals mixed in as well. I'm quite sentimental myself, so I loved knowing that my engagement flowers would be repurposed and live on to be a part of the wedding ceremony. It's very full circle and resourceful, which I really liked. Once the flowers started wilting, I picked the petals that way they wouldn't lose all of their color and I started the process from that point now on to the actual drying process there are two different ways that you can go about this one being drying your petals in the Sun and one drying them in the oven depending on the weather and where you live that will kind of help you determine which way you should do this we actually had flower petals done both ways I was drying them in my oven while my husband's aunt was also drying some from her garden out in the Sun and both turned out absolutely beautiful so if you're going with the oven approach, I would recommend setting your oven to a really low temperature, maybe between 40 and 50 degrees Celsius or 100 and 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you'll want to evenly lay out the flowers on a baking sheet. You can also use a layer of parchment paper if you'd like to and put them in the oven, checking on them every five minutes or so. It's a bit of a tricky balance as you'll want to make sure that you don't overcook your petals. You don't want them too brittle and breaking, but you also want to make sure that they're dry enough that they're not retaining any moisture because then that could lead to them becoming a little bit moldy when you're storing them. I would say it's best to be a little bit on the under dry side that way then you can always pop them back in the oven if they need a little bit more toasting time but um, just leave them on the counter for a few hours if you're unsure. I also learned from trial and error that it's best to sort the petals out by size that way they dry out at a similar rate. Once you get the hang of it it's super easy and super fun and you'll have a great collection of petals before you know it. If you're planning to dry your petals in the Sun you'll want to do a similar thing of lining out your petals on a sheet or a tarp that you can leave outside and let the Sun do the rest keep in mind this will take a few days so make sure that you don't have any rainy days in the forecast and also have something maybe to cover them up if it seems like it's gonna be a really windy day you don't want your petals blowing away keep checking on those petals every few days and once they seem completely dried it's time to store them I stored mine in Tupperware and I also added a few tea bags into the petals as well this one helped absorb the moisture and two it added a really nice kind of fruity tea scent to the flowers because they did start to lose their scent after some time. I kept my Tupperware in a dark place so that it wouldn't get damaged by the sun and it stored for over a year because I started from the beginning of the engagement process all the way to the wedding so they lasted fine. I didn't have any issues with them molding and they had a great tea aroma from the tea bags that I put in there. Then for the presentation of the big day there's so many different ways that you can present your flower petals. The easiest option would be to have one basket and everyone can collect their petals and toss them from the basket. I would recommend this if you have a smaller group or if you're planning to do a secondary confetti toss where you have time to hand these out. At our wedding we were doing the confetti toss as we walked back up the aisle after just getting married so we wanted all of our guests to have the confetti at their seats. So we decided to go with the little cardboard pillows. You could put these in a little box or a bag, something of that nature. I've also seen it done where there's little cones that you can fill up with the confetti. This was the original idea we were going to go with would be to fill up the little cones but I realized that then your guests then have to hold that cone the whole time that they're sitting there. So if you're using your confetti for a moment, aside from the ceremony where all the guests are gonna be sitting there with them in their hands, I would say any of these options are just fine. But if your guests are going to be seated and you wanna have your confetti preset, just know that a closed container is just gonna be the easiest way to go about that. So in terms of number for how many petals I saved to use on the wedding day, I had a large Tupperware container that I filled completely myself and then my aunt-in-law she sent over a large shoebox filled with petals that she dried outside so between the two I had just enough petals this filled up 100 containers for our guests and I did fill them generously because I wanted everyone to have plenty of confetti to throw around but that said I really thought I would have some leftover confetti and 
I used up every last petal. So there you go, super simple and easy way to make some DIY flower confetti. I loved having this special touch on our wedding day. I loved knowing that some of the flowers that we had at our wedding were the flowers that we got from our engagement season. It was such a special way to repurpose all of those flowers. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your wedding party if you need some help collecting and drying out flowers as well. As always, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along for more content. I'm currently sharing lots of videos as a part of a wedding series from the proposal all the way to the big day, so be sure to stick around for the next video if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.